Sveiki and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson! Laimeigu jaunuo gadu! The new year pushes us to let change into our lives and in some very cute and fluffy cases that change comes in the form of an adopted pet. So let's start the year by learning how to discuss our pets in Latvian. In these pet video series let's look at the names for pets in Latvian as well as some expressions they inspire and also some beliefs that our ancestor Latvians held about them. And today we'll start with pet number one in Latvia. Let's go! Before we reveal the most popular pet in Latvia, we have to learn how to say pet in the first place. The word for animal in Latvian is dzīvnieks. Dzīvnieks. Not a salic tennis, even though you could ax it up into two words. Dzīvs, which means alive, and nieks, which is a very small and unimportant trivial thing. Dzīvnieks, which says a lot about Latvian's attitude towards work, because the same word nieks is also at the end of many professions in Latvian. Hmm. But in any case, dzīvnieks is animal and a pet is my dzīvnieks. My dzīvnieks, which is a salic tennis from the word māja, home and dzīvnieks, animal. A pet, my dzīvnieks. And the most popular my dzīvnieks in Latvia is... Suns. A dog. According to a woman's magazine I read last October. Suns is suns everywhere in Latvia, but in some places and some families you might also hear them referring to their suns as sunis, suņuks and suņāks. If it is a puppy, then they will say it is a kutsāns. Kutsans. Some more regional versions you might also hear duksis, duksis and vaukšķis, vaukšķis, which is mostly used about dogs who rej, bark a lot. And why vaukšķis? Because that's what Latvian dogs say. Wow, wow. Now let's look at some expressions. Most of these are about people, but in a forest you might come across suņusēnes. Suņusēnes, literally dogs mushrooms, which is a common word for all non-edible mushrooms in Latvia. Suņusēnes. Fū, tā tak suņusēne. Throw it away. It is a, it is a dogs mushroom. If you're working hard, like in the Beatles song A Hard Day's Night, you are working like a dog. Strada ka suns. It means you are very, very tired and you work a lot. But if somebody is acting ka nuoperts suns, or like a spanked dog, it means that they have done something no 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 and are now regretting being caught. And you might even see them walking around asti starp kājām iespiedis, or with their tail tucked between their legs. Which is also a suns inspired metaphor for shame, 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 shame. As you see, suns can have a lot of negative tone to it. Turēt kādu, somebody, turēt kādu suņa kārtā is Latvian for treating someone like a dog, which means to mistreat them somewhat unfortunately. But if somebody makes a very disgusted face and then yells pet suņa or after a dog, it means that the situation that they find themselves in is very disagreeable and they are expressing their negative attitude about it. It's kind of an alternative for god damn it. But if it's not a situation but a person that is undesirable, then you can say to them sunstat, which is a Latvian alternative for you dog. Continuing with the theme of insults, which is strange that there are so many because dogs are Latvian's favorite animals, to call somebody a tēdes suns, tēdes suns, literally the dog of the chain, is a mean way of saying that it is a dishonorable person who would pretty much do anything to serve somebody else's interests. But if somebody is reikā suns mēnesī skatīdamies, or barking like a dog staring at the moon, it means that they are talking shit about somebody or falsely accusing that person. On a more positive note, pazīt somebody kā raibu suni, or to know somebody like a colorful and spotted dog means that you know them very, very well. And on a more grim note, if for somebody 
jau kapsēta suņirei or the cemetery dogs are barking, it means it's time to die. Thankfully, it is not an expression I've heard used a lot. But an expression that is used a lot is tad rekur tas suns aprakts. Oh, that's where that dog is buried. You might hear that a lot too, but don't worry, Latvians are not constantly walking around searching for dead dogs that are buried. This is how we say that I have identified the root of the problem or the cause of this situation. By the way, if you or your children would like to get to know one Latvian Suns, I can suggest you watch the cartoon Suns Funs und Vesh or Suns Funs, dog whose name is Funs, that is trying to catch the wind. It is one of the Latvian animated classics, so the link is in the description. And to finish, let's look at some beliefs. Latvians say, do not lie to your suns, or else you will get a sunyanagla, literally a dog's nail, like that you hit with a hammer. But actually, it is a very big and very painful pimple on your butt. So, do not deceive your soons. You'll say Paldias later. Now I will reveal to you the answer to a question that you have probably been asking your whole life. Why do dogs chase cats? According to a Latvian folktale, the cat stole the dog's Brīvgrāmata. Brīvgrāmata, literally a free book, but actually it is the permission not to work that God had given to the dog. And since the cat stole it and then ran up to the roof where the dog could not get it, dogs now have to work while cats can laze around hanging from curtains all day and look cute on the internet. That is why dogs chase cats. They are trying to get their Brīvgrāmata back. And bonus one also, this is the reason why dogs sniff each other, because they are trying to find that one bad suns who let the cat steal the Brīvgrāmata. So there you go. Unu vis. Now I hope you pazīt your Latvian suns expressions like Araibu suni, and I hope to see you using them in the comments. Also, tell me about your suni if you have one. I'm looking forward to receiving some nice and uplifting stories about your pets. I've recently adopted my own pet, not a dog but a cat. He's having a bit of a hard time adjusting, so I would appreciate some positive stories from you guys. Patreons, some extra, extra beliefs about Sunyi for you up there now, as well as some grammar. Thank you as always for supporting my channel. And to everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful end of January and I'll see you soon, maybe. Bye!